Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is April and thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. So I ordered this telescope off of Amazon and I'm going to show you all how to put it together if you decide to get one. The brand is Hexium and here is everything that comes inside the box. You get your telescope, a tripod, the accessory wheel for your eyepieces, you get two eyepieces. You also get a Barlow lens, which is here. You get the remote for your phone for wireless recording. The adapter for your phone to attach it to the, to the telescope. And here's the scope. It also comes with a travel bag. A really nice sturdy canvas bag to store your telescope and all of your accessories so it doesn't get damaged when you're traveling back and forth with your new telescope. So let's get started. First, we are going to grab our tripod and stand it upright. Next, grab your accessory wheel. There will be a little protective covering on the bottom where the hardware is. You just pull it right off and you'll screw it in right here at the base of your tripod. Next, grab your eyepieces and put them onto your accessory wheel. Next, we are going to install the telescope tube. This just screws right onto the top of the tripod right here. And we are turning it to the right. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Turn it until it's nice and tight. And that's good. That part is done. Next, grab your finder scope and the attachment for the finder scope. Remove the cap that's on your finder scope. And this is how you want to position it and slide it right in and then adjust this so it doesn't slide back and forth. Once you have it attached, it just slides right in here, just like that. Next, we are going to install the mirror. That's this piece here. There are two caps we need to remove, that one, and then also that one. And then also remove the cap from the telescope. And this is where we're going to install the mirror. This is the direction it should be facing. And then you just slide it in and then attach the screws or adjust the screws to tighten it. All right, so next grab one of your eyepieces and we're going to install this. I grabbed the 25 one. Next, loosen the screw at the top so that your eyepiece fits in, and then you'll just drop it in and adjust it back. Make sure it's nice and secure. And if you wanna use the Barlow lens, you'll just take this one out and grab your Barlow lens. Then you drop it in, tighten your screw, and then select whichever, whichever eyepiece you want to use with the Barlow lens and install that right on top. And then tighten your screws. Next, remove the cap and you are good to go. You can adjust your, the viewfinder here on either side. Now 
Next, we are going to set up the phone adapter. So this is what it looks like. You'll just grab whichever lens you're going to use, place it down inside, and this spins and tightens around the eyepiece. Now you'll just place it back onto the telescope and tighten the screw. And this is where you'll add your cell phone. And this is what it looks like with the cell phone piece attached. And it's a retractable clip, so you'll just like open the mouth up and place your phone in there, and it will hold it very nice and secure. And then that way you could view um, from your phone and then take pictures as well. Here's the Bluetooth remote. I'm not able to demonstrate much because I'm using my phone to record. But there is an on off switch on the side. You'll just click that on. You'll see the blue light starts blinking. And then you'll want to turn on your Bluetooth finder on your phone. And then that way you'll activate the Bluetooth. It's going to be under AB Shutter 3 from the list of pairing. And then once you hit pair on your phone, you'll be able to use the Bluetooth with your phone to take pictures. I hope you enjoyed this video and you were able to set up your telescope successfully. Post a comment below once you are able to use it outside and explore the different planets and the moon. I'd love to see some pictures. If you're on Instagram, tag me. And that concludes this video. Thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. Have a good day.